Falcon, Rain Sink Borate Delicious, I Lilo City, I Lilo, Philippines Happy Rain Triggered Splash Plus in Borate on Tuesday, an effort to rehabilitate the world's famous resort island. Flooding, caused by heavy rains generated by the southwest monsoon that has been intensified by tropical storm Falcon, also hit I Lilo City and other towns in I Lilo Province, forcing the authorities to call off school in badly affected municipalities. Classes were also suspended in schools in Batalot City and 17 other areas in Negro's Occidental Province on Wednesday due to heavy rains brought by Falcon. Falcon made landfall at the Karen Town in Cabayon Province at 12.38 am on Wednesday then moved out to sea. Blowing out on Friday it was centered at 265 km east of Palayan, Cabayon, as of 4 p.m. on Wednesday and was expected to blow out of the Philippines by Friday, the weather service said. Anna Clorin, a weather specialist at the Philippine Atmospheric, the Oceanical and Astronomical Services Administration, said Falcon was moving north-northwest at 20 km per hour, with maximum winds of 65 and just the baby. Several provinces in northern region remained under storm warning signals. Signal number 2 was up in Baton and signal number 1 remained hoisted in the Kao, Cathayan, Isla Coast North and the Babuyan Islands. Chlorine said residents in those provinces should remain alert for floods and landslides as the weather would remain stormy on Thursday. A 45 typhoon year old man drowned while trying to cross the river, while eight families were evacuated to safer grounds in Cathayan as the storm hit the province on Wednesday. Heavy rain triggered a landslide on Matagudan Road in the Karen. Officials called off school because of bad weather in Cagayan, Ilayan, Isabella Province, Santa Rosa, Alimata and Rizal Towns and San Jose City in Nueva Ecija, the town and the coastal areas of Makati and Sassaman Towns and Angeles City in Pampanga. Scattered rains in Metro Manila Gloran said residents of Metro Manila could expect scattered rain showers until Thursday evening, with Falcon intensifying the southwest monsoon. Bad weather forced the cancellation of a dozen domestic flights at Ninoy Aquino International Airport on Wednesday. Sailings by small vessels in waters off the eastern seaboard of Luzon and the Jadeas remained suspended. In Borke, residents posted photographs on social media showing people wading in lake deep flood waters. Flooded were Durane Balabat and parts of Durane Mapat, according to Catherine Fulgencio, Municipal Disaster Officer of Malay Town in Atlan Province, where Borke is located. Flood waters reached a meter deep in some areas, she said. Closed for rehab President Rodrigo Duterte ordered for a case closed for six months last year for cleanup and rehabilitation. But rehabilitation work, including the upgrading of the main road, drainage and sewage systems, remain unfinished, with several projects set for completion either next year or in 2021. This waste generated by strong winds overturned the fishing boat off the delay, city in Negro's Occidental Province on Tuesday. C. Park Peolian, head of the Provincial Disaster Office, said the four fishermen who had ventured to sea on the boat at the Donny Moises, Alan Aranek, Ronald Catladen and Arnold Aranek were rescued. In the Patagon, Laneo del Nord, 1,640 families remained in shelters on Wednesday as bad weather prevailed in the province. The Patagon was the hardest hit among five towns in the province that went underwater as heavy rains poured on Tuesday, forcing hundreds of families to flee their homes. 16 of the Patagon's 31 villages were flooded. Damage assessment schools in the town remained closed, as well as those in Dubot and Lala Town. Other towns hit by floods on Tuesday were Sapa, Salvador and Sultan Maga de Negro. With reports from Patricia Denise and Chiu, Jerome Anning, Salama Gadea Jr., Lilani Adriano, Armand Galang, Greg Refraction, Ned Orjas and Rachel Yumel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.